This is getting after it, man. And this San Antonio team, we, we talked about it. They don't have Kawhi Leonard. They don't have the talent that they've had in the previous seasons. But they're well coached. They're smart. They get after it. And defensively, they compete. They're one of the better defensive ball clubs in the league. And while everybody's trying to talk about pace and space, Jared, and trying to win with offense, this San Antonio team gets it done defensively. Yeah, and they've also, besides the things you mentioned, uh, the injuries also have had, you know, an effect on them, obviously. Getting Gay back has been huge for them. Right. I mean, Gay, Gay, the size he has, he creates a problem for you when he sets screen and rolls. He's very versatile. And then, like, and then when you have Manu doing the things he's doing, that's big time, too. When he can turn back the clock and have games like this, this team really needs it right now. Damian Lillard is playing, by the way. He's got 30 points on 10 of 20, but he does have six turnovers. The three-point shot, not falling for anybody other than Lillard. Uh, should mention, you know, Mato Ginobili, who's six for six in this game, now seven for seven, actually. Manu, his last four games played had six field goals total. And he's coming up big on this night for the Spurs, who need this one badly for their playoff chances. And here's the play again, where he takes in the three and decides to take it hard. He's taking it on Chief here, right? I mean, that's yeah. that's a pretty good defender. Well, the thing about Manu is, you talked about previous games he really had didn't have it going. He can't get it going for you every night. But on certain nights, when he can turn back the clock, he can be special for you. He can have one of those throw-back-the-clock Manu Ginobili type of basketball games. Well, let me ask you. One guy that I'm wondering, does he have enough in the tank left, is Pau Gasol. Can this guy, if they make it into the playoffs, can this guy give them something to go along with what Aldridge has done as far as there's that big, big combination again we just got talking about with New Orleans in San Antonio. Coach, what do you mean by give them something? Like, when he, like he's averaging about 10 and 8 on the season, so he can give them that. But are you talking about, like, 15, 16 points per game in a playoff series? Can he give them a little more than 10 and 8? I think that's where he is right now. I think, uh, you know, Father Time is undefeated. Unless you're talking about LeBron James, he's the only guy that's defi right. defying Father Time. He's fighting, yeah, holding yeah. his ground. Yeah. And it's one of those situations where I think Powell still is very skilled, but I'm not sure if he can go 15, 16, 17 points per game in a playoff series anymore. I think uh, that ship is sailed. He has to win games for you in a role player type of fashion. You know, Pop was trying to figure out how am I going to win games. Should he play more minutes? Should he play less minutes? Should I, you know, watch his minutes, monitor those because of the end of the season, hoping that he's got something left to give us? That obviously affects also his rhythm offense. Oh, coach, coach players are creatures of habit, you know.